Washington is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If Republicans crafted legislation that lived up to the promise of insurance for everybody, they'd have broad bipartisan support. But that's not what they did. This bill threatens massive disruption and chaos, not only to our health care system, but to middle class families. Families who sit at their kitchen table trying to figure out how to pay their mortgage, buy groceries, and also get health coverage for their kids. This Republican bill does nothing to help them. In their rush to check a political box, Republicans have crafted legislation that does nothing but hurt working Americans. And in the last 24 hours, it's gone from bad to worse. Make no mistake, the changes made in the 11th hour to appease the most extreme members of Congress have put life-saving life care even further out of reach. Some may use alternative facts, but this is reality, and the reality is that their bill robs $75 billion from Medicare, forces older Americans to pay five times more than others, and shifts $312 billion in out-of-pocket costs onto middle-class families. But this is about more than numbers. It's about people, like Rachel from Kirkland, Washington, who suffered a heart attack and blood clot at the age of 35. She now depends on frequent tests, medications, and doctor's visits to stay healthy. Thankfully, it's all covered by her insurance. Rachel told me, quote, I'm horrified by the talking point that equates repealing the Affordable Care Act with getting freedom back. For me, the loss of the ACA gives me nothing but the freedom to die sooner and worry more, end quote. I'm not voting against this bill because it's a Republican bill. I'm voting no for families like Rachel's. Health care doesn't need to be a partisan issue, and I stand ready and willing to work on common sense solutions that expand coverage and reduce costs. But I was sent here to make General my Lady's constituents' lives better. General this bill Tennessee. does not do that. I encourage General my Lady's colleagues to vote no. Thank General you, Mr. Speaker.